Hi, my name's Jerry. I'm a twin troller boat owner. And one of you that's watching this video is likely going to own a twin troller also. This is not my boat, but this boat, this twin troller X10 is for sale. The man that owns this, his name is Jim. Jim lives pretty close to me and has decided to sell this boat. That's great for you. I'm in central Florida in the Kissimmee area. And if you're interested, please pay attention because this is an opportunity for you. When this boat is sold, Jim will post that in the first comments below this video. So please make sure that you look at the comments. Let me start off by saying, if you're interested with this boat, you're interested in contacting Jim, you need to contact me on this email address, twintrollerpicture at gmail.com. You need to send me your contact information, your cell phone number, your email address, where you generally live, what state, kind of what city, and send that to me at this email address. I will then forward that to Jim. Jim will then contact you directly, and the two of you can work out whatever you're going to work out for buying this boat. This boat is a 2016 boat, but it's in really good shape. So if you're interested in buying one, this is about as close to buying a new one as you can get. I'm going to walk around the boat. I'm going to show you everything that comes with it and try to explain and show how good this boat is. Now this boat has a number of things on it that are new. The trailer was not in existence when he bought it. The seats that you see are brand new. They even have these protective corners on it that you're supposed to, says right in there, on there, temporary protection, remove after installation. They're still on there. He has never put it in the water after this. Was installed in the trailer, uh, purchased, and uh, he's got two batteries in here. He's got a brand new uh, GPS fish finder, a Garmin. But why is he selling it? Well, Jim has another neighbor that also owns one. And the three of us, we're going to go fishing together in our twin trollers. Well, Jim also has three grandchildren and realized that he can't take them all fishing. So, He's made a decision based on his family that he would sell this and he's already purchased another boat, a regular fiberglass outboard uh, boat, and that's what he plans on fishing in. So he's not selling this because there's anything wrong with it. He's selling it just because it doesn't fit his family needs. Now, I'm going to hand hold the camera. I try to do it as steady as I can. But I want to show you the boat and everything about it. As you can see, it's a brand new trailer. It has larger tires than what would come on the uh, trailer that uh, Freedom Electric uh, gives you. Uh, it also has a spare tire there. He's got a trailer jack on the front. Uh, it's already wired. It has uh, uh, a winch on the front for pulling it up, and that's how he gets the boat on, like you would normally do. And this is what it kind of looks like. Right here is a brand new Garmin, and he told me so far he has never even used it. And while that's turning on, here's the pedals to the boat. Those run the two motors. Now, that motor, when he got it, was acting up. So he went to Freedom Electric 
and purchased a brand new motor and that's already been installed on the boat. So these are both ready to go. And here's the Garmin. Let me show you the display. It is a GPS capable uh, fish finder. That's a pretty good unit uh, already mounted there. He's got it wired in. Here's the seats. And there is a paddle that he has attached here. There's the other seat. He has a boat cover right here. There is a rod holder here and another rod holder in the front right, as you can see right there. There are cup holders here. These are uh, depressions here. You can put lures in or anything you want. It has a scale built into the material up to 16 inches. Starts way back here at zero, all the way to 16. Another one of these, uh, actually Freedom of Electric calls these real pockets. So when you put your rods in here, uh, the idea is that the reels would kind of sit in here just to get out of the way. He's got straps on it here in the middle, one here, and he has this drain. <laughs> he followed a video that I did that sometimes if you get some water inside the hull, he can uh, vacuum it out of there. There are two battery boxes here. They're both brand new batteries. These are 24 series batteries. And they're all wired in. He has this at the top with a, a USB uh, plug here. However, he didn't finish wiring those two things here. So that's real simple. You just run the wires to here. So that would need to be done yet. And here's the wiring. And this second battery, since he doesn't have an outboard on this boat, he felt that he should have a second way to run the boat batteries. So he has this one, and all he has to do is connect these to these two terminals on here, and this battery would now run uh, here in case it ran out of juice. And there is an onboard charger right there, and you just, that's hardwired into here. Uh, you could do something so that it could charge this one too. It isn't set up that way right now. And on this side, again, he's got a plug here and another one of these depressions, more cup holders, there's four cup holders in this. Another one here, here's the other rod holder and cup holder. And there are four cleats, tie-on cleats, one here, one there. And in the back corner, there's one, and there's one off that corner. So if you tied up to a dock or something like that, you'd have it. Here's the boat from the front angle. That's the transducer for the Garmin on the front, the fish finder. Here's the trailer itself. As you can see, it has LED lights already mounted on the trailer. I don't know how well you can see this. This is where the motors are under these grates and they're operated with those pedals. They are variable speed forward. 
slow, faster, faster, faster. And if you push on the bottom, they go in reverse. Same idea, both of them. And as you can see, the floor is in real good shape. Not even many scratches. And this is the cover. He's got it attached here, so I'm not undoing that. And this covers the boat. If you store this outside, you would have something to put over the boat. If you're trailering it, usually some people put that on and it works to protect the boat. Now, here's the back. This is the cord for the charger, the onboard charger. Here is the drain plug. So if you had water in the boat, you can, when you get home, you can pull that out. The water will drain out. I often do that while I am driving from the lake back to the house. I just pull that out and the water runs back in. He's got a spare plug that he puts there. This is where I have, uh, and many people install a bilge pump right here, and I plumb it with PVC pipe coming up and over the transom, and out it goes. This metal plate here is, if you had a outboard like what comes from the factory, a 2.3 Honda outboard uh, four cycle, or they now sell an electric one, so it's totally electric and it goes, mounts on here and hangs down. Now Jim has provided all kinds of paperwork for this. He has a clear title to the boat itself, clear title to the trailer itself. He's got all the paperwork that came from the Garmin fish finder, the manual. Paperwork that came with the uh, uh, battery charger, the onboard battery charger. Documents in, in instructions about uh, things that came from Freedom Electric Marine, the manufacturer. Now this boat has what's called a reverse pitch propeller on the port side, which is the left side. So one propeller spins one way, one spins the other way. What's the advantage to that? Well, before they came up with the reverse pitch, pitch propeller, uh, the boat would track to one side when you had both pedals down. It does it less with the reverse pitch propeller. So the motor on the right-hand side, the starboard side, is spinning one direction, and the motor on the port side is spinning the opposite direction, and the propellers are designed to go with the direction that the motor is turning. Here's just more paperwork that had to do with the manual. Safety information that came from Freedom Electric. Here's the boat's owner's manual. The trailer manual. It is an Iron Tron watercraft trailer and it has 12 inch tires, which are bigger than the twin troller trailer. And this is a manufacturer's certificate of origin packet. Just talks about uh, the different things here. So you get all of the paperwork that exists for a brand new boat and you'll get it right here from Jim. So what would you need to put this boat in the water? Well, not much. You'd need some fishing rods, some tackle, and you've got to get this registered in your name after you pick it up. You back it into the water and off you go. There isn't much more. Now, Jim really wanted you to come to Kissimmee and pick it up. He would consider meeting you, he said, possibly two hours away 
if that was really necessary. But you may be coming from anywhere. You may be coming from another state. And while you're here, you can always go on vacation. On your way home, take it home. This is a great time to go fishing. We're in the middle of our spawn here, right here in Central Florida. Depending on where you're coming from, your spawn may be yet to come up. Some of you may even be coming from someplace that you're still chopping holes in the water to go fishing. Sorry for that. But this is a great deal. So again, send me all of your contact information to this email address, twintrollerpicture at gmail.com. And what is the cost of the boat? Jim wants $3,750. That's a pretty good price when you compare what a brand new one costs. And this has a lot of stuff already with it. These usually sell pretty quickly, so don't delay if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Good luck to whoever buys it. Have a nice day. Bye now.